I am so excited that my colleagues across the aisle care about sexual abuse, considering that the front runner right now for like presidency is kind of just been found liable of sexual abuse. Every time we seemingly have a hearing on voting rights, we talking about the fact that people are cheating. So let's talk about who's cheating. I got a few articles. But when we start talking about things that look like evidence, they want to act like they blind. They don't know what this is. These are our national secrets. Looks like in the to me. Easiest one, two, three. Just let it show so good. Just let it shine through. Just let it show so Kings, are you thinking what I'm thinking? No, unfortunately, this is not a Saturday Night Live sketch. This is what passes for real life these days. This is Jasmine Felicia Crockett. She is the U.S. Representative from Texas 30th Congressional District, having assumed office on January 3, 2023. Those brief series of clips were the epitome of black girl magic cringe. I use that term because it's the only explanation I can find for her presence in that office. Her behavior disgusts and simultaneously bores the shit out of me. Keep in mind, this woman is also a licensed lawyer. Shit, the bar must be giving those things out in the bottom of boxes of Cracker Jacks. Makes you side-eye Texas and wonder what the fuck they're putting in the water. Can we get a moratorium on this faux sister girl bullshit that passes for a personality these days? The shit is straight up tired with a late 70s disco is dead stench all over it. Rep Crockett has no fucking class to say the least. I was embarrassed just watching this bullshit. Her behavior is over the top and ridiculous. Clout chasing 101 from, like a good five years ago. I'm afraid this is the standard bearing behavior of life in the age of motherfucking TikTok. I felt like putting a paper bag over her head while she was sitting there in front of her peers braying like a hyena. The term porch monkey came to mind. By the way, I'm a black man for any newbies coming across this fucking video. The reason I'm speaking out about this besides being a misogynist anarchist is that I feel this egregious behavior is damaging to the image of black people across the diaspora. Ain't nobody gonna tell me that black females haven't been doing wholesale damage to our image across social media here in the States and abroad. I feel like it is intentional on someone's part to keep a certain racial viewpoint, a negative reinforcement of those myths of black people as lesser beings. I'm pushing back and anyone with an ounce of common sense should follow suit. Plain and simply put, Keisha culture is bad for business. It's detrimental to black people to have ops sitting in the high chairs of this land acting like immature fuckhead children on their first day of high school. With a proliferation of this juvenile step and fetch it behavior, our international credibility has gone up in smoke. Most educated my ass. Hey Miss Crockett, don't think your bum ass is the only one in on the joke. You are a liability to your people and no leader. You make me sick and lethargic because your antics immediately made me question the legitimacy of your tenure in office. Dare I say you might have done something strange for some change on your hands and knees in the political arena. Do your peers respect you? Probably not, Miss Crockett. And if you're not going to respect yourself, then why should anyone else? It's rhetorical, ma'am. Don't strain your brain, sister. No censure from Biden's White House or the Democratic Party for this infantile behavior. No self-reflection from Miss Crockett. She knows what side her biscuits are buttered on. This has been your much-needed clapback.